like I said, after the game. For, for me, uh, my point after that game is that we've gone through a period of time over the last sort of 18 months, two years, where because of the circumstances the world's been in in terms of the pandemic, where we've almost separated the game from its from its supporters and and whilst at the beginning I thought I think it was done for the right reasons after a while it's almost like we forgot that the, really the game without supporters is nothing because no one wants to watch games in an empty stadium I mean that game the other night obviously it was great for us and not great for Rangers I get that but if that was in an empty stadium you wouldn't have had without that atmosphere and that special connection you wouldn't have people talking about it um, whether they're Celtic supporters or not um, and that was my point is that you know, that's what football clubs are. They're more than just sporting clubs. And sometimes I think, you know, particularly when I listen to politicians talk or people in, in positions of power, they don't understand the investment that people have in their in their football clubs, you know, that, that sometimes their whole week's mood is judged by how their team goes. And, and for some people that's hard to kind of conceptualise, but that's how much it means to some people. So... We bear that responsibility. I bear that responsibility. So I guess that's where that... I mean, it's a long-winded answer to, to your question, but that's where kind of the essence of what I was trying to explain after the game comes from. Hi there. If you enjoyed watching our content, don't forget to subscribe to PLZ Soccer's YouTube channel.